Bahubali changed a different perspective in terms of as an actor that with voice also somebody can yeah. create an impression for anyone in in India or in, it's a it's a matter of pride to be the voice of Sri Rama. You know, for me the I think playing Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was the epitome of yeah. luck. I think uh, as a Maharashtrian, hmm. as an Indian, I think. Hi guys, this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us a very special guest, Sharad Kelkar, who is all gearing up for the release of Har Har Mahadev. Welcome to Pink Villa. Sharad. Thank you, Himesh. Thank you. Here. Thank you, Pink Villa. Thank you so much. My first question to you is Har Har Mahadev. It's a film which represents the glorious history of India. As an actor, what are the responsibilities of being a part of such a big film which represents Indian history? The first thing is it's the first and foremost important thing that you should not add drama unnecessary drama to a real story so yeah. we have tried to give you the real aspect of it as much as we can as much as proofs we have yeah that's the primary thing and then first of all if as an actor if you're doing some historical character obviously you have to have that sense in your subconscious that there's a bit of responsibility because there are a lot of people who for them the character is very important yeah as far as chhatrapati shivaji maharaj is concerned i think for everyone he's yeah he's I think is is as good as God, so I think one needs to be very careful while playing uh, those characters, and so that it looks convincing also on screen. True. If you are a little shallow in your performance or in your approach, I think it will not uh, translate into the screen. Hmm. So you need to be real a little more careful apart from other characters, but to be a little more careful and. Uh, conscious towards doing such kind of uh, characters but but when you come across such a script do you also do your research in terms of checking the facts right or do you trust the vision of director no i trust the vision of the director as it's his perception how he wants to present hmm. and if i like it if we okay. um, it's just not because there's a lot of films have been made uh, on period also and normal films also every film i can't do or i, I yeah. analyze the film according to my sense touchwood it has been good but uh, yes i primarily uh, trust the vision of the director and his writing and uh, you know the, the the level he wants to make the film sometimes Correct. the story is very good but they don't know how to make it or they don't yeah. know how at what scale the script requires so i i i, I take uh, the whole scenario in my in my uh, in front of me and i analyze it hmm. whether okay fine the story is good uh, it's authentic uh, the director has confidence and a uh, conviction towards the film the producer is supporting the film as uh, this kind of story needs certain kind of budget yeah. and the studio which is putting it so there's there's a mix of it <laughs> before thinking of or before deciding yeah. then comes what am i doing in the film true and that process comes secondary and then final call is being taken so Correct. it's a little big process which i go through and then Correct. sometimes it clicks sometimes Correct. i fail so it's it's a part of life but so you know you are playing uh, baji prabhu deshpande in this film you have played chhatrapati shivaji maharaj in tana ji how fortunate do you feel as an actor to you know play these characters which are so respected across the nation i think i've been very lucky i think I, i'm blessed i think that yeah. people consider me in such kind of roles not just these two which i have done but otherwise also yeah. maybe it's uh, lakshmi also maybe mm -hmm. uh, there are few more but uh, you know uh, yeah the, as i always say as an actor's life i think 50% is luck so the offer come, come coming to you it's yeah. is the luck then how do you handle it that's a second that's a second task you have in your hand hmm. but yeah, i have been fortunate i think and you know for me the i think playing chhatrapati shivaji maharaj was the epitome of yeah. luck i think uh, as a maharashtrian hmm. as an indian i think it's a matter of pride for me uh, to portray chhatrapati shivaji maharaj on screen yeah. but on the contrary what happens sometimes and it happened we have examples in front of us that people got stuck into the character and they remained the yeah. character for all their lives and yeah. they did nothing in terms of as an actor i didn't want it didn't want to be in that <coughs> zone or in that on in on those names so i deliberately i think did i think lakshmi was the next release after yes. that to break that that okay fine you liked me and i did my best but i can do this also then this film is also is one of the thing which i wanted to do that there's the same era film but i'm playing a different character, character. 
So as an actor, I wanted to learn a lot, <laughs> and still I want to learn more and more. So this is another very challenging part, whether where where you you're doing the same similar atmosphere, well, a film with a different approach, but with a different approach altogether. Yeah. And there's always be a be a challenge in front of you whenever you have scenes with Shatrubhan Shivaji Maharaj. Yes. And how do you cut off from there, and how do you get into your zone? <laughs> that was a challenge which I which approach I never took in my life, and that was yeah. the opportunity given to me by Abhijit. That yes, as an actor, you can grow with this film. <laughs> so I said, "Ki great," <laughs> and that's how I think I was in my zone completely. In the film, I think that's uh, that's and with Abhijit's guidance, hai, that's the only thing I could pull it off. Otherwise, there was no chance that I could <laughs> leave that baggage or leave. I don't not I will not call it baggage, but that that image of Chhatrapati Shivaji sure. Maharaj behind me. So uh, all thanks to uh, Almighty and Abhijit, I think he is Almighty only. <laughs> He's a crazy guy. the film like you said it's like it's a period film set in indian history how long did it take for you to shoot for this film and what was your prep so it's a, it's a, it's a very uh, interesting story to it yeah. so when you know if you if you think from a producer's point of view and though he's a very big producer he's a very decent he's a good producer i will say mm. parthare mr parthare is very good producer the kind of films he has made like maybe is katyar ka azad gutli which is one of the hits yeah. if ani kashi na gaane karage na So when we were speaking about this film, when the budget came, obviously he increased his limits to a certain level, <laughs> but and the number of days also. Yeah. So when the first scare came to me and I said, "Ki there were thirty-eight days." Okay. I said, "Ki how will we finish this film in thirty-eight days?" I said, "Ki it was impossible." <coughs> so there was a big, you know, pause between all of us. That yeah. I am saying. some other days he is stuck on the editor saying something else and we are stuck on ki how many days we want to shoot i said ki as far as the script is concerned as far as i know about my experience of 15 16 years taking uh, this in in our head that it's a marathi film primarily yeah. then it's a pan india film <laughs> and with the budget constraint we have still i think we need at least 40 to 50 days to shoot but for 53 days like The scale looks so big. I mean, fifty-three days. So I, 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 I just say this jokingly, but the actor is small, but the picture is big. The actor, <laughs> no way you are. A, no, but we, we, we all tried. Yeah. I'll tell you, just not me about Subo that. Yeah. Uh, from a director, I think uh, we all worked on a on the not this you know fees was not the criteria for the film. Yeah. Not just us. It's from. the makeup department to the costume department you name them and they some of them are free of charge some of them minimal uh, minimal what they can do for yeah. to run a house that's it itna ki itna kharcha nikal jayega ghar chal jayega and i did like that mm-hmm. i'll be honest ki yaar mera ghar chal jayega jitne din main shooting kar raha hu utna de do bas mujhe mm-hmm. taki mai bibi ko mere bol saku ki nahi main kama raha hu paise otherwise nobody charge a fee is nothing mm-hmm. so we all try to make a good film we all and still we are trying that this good film should reach to a number of people that they can they can watch and understand what was happening in 16th century and and so you know ever since the trailer has dropped there are a lot of comparisons that people have made with pavan khind which Correct. is another pavan marathi khind, yeah, film yeah. pavan khind yeah obviously yeah, so yeah, limited it's, 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 it's the same yeah. subject but the take is completely different yeah so that's what me and abhijit were also talking and yeah. he said ki people like that film it is a good film they considered did good on box office also but it's a different film it's a completely different film what we have Anindy. made it's a completely different story yeah. different perspective different scale and from i'm saying there's not performances or actors what we have <laughs> taken it's the story is completely different it's not okay. that what you've seen okay. in pavan khind it's a complete different take to it okay secondly our film is based on emotion hmm. it's not about action we obviously in trailer we will give all <laughs> the package give the whole thing in one thing of 3 <laughs> minute or 2 minutes 56 second but primarily it's a very Action. heavy emotional oh. and a very inspiring film hmm. for for I think everyone and and with that there's a lot of entertainment and x factor hmm. to it so uh, it's it's a complete package my only issue is that or my only concern that it should reach to people you know people yeah. are waiting for such kind of films but i'm sure there are i mean on social media also ever since yeah, the now, now has it's, dropped, it's, people it's, are talking yeah now it's it. picking up and i'm so grateful to all the you know sites and all the platforms and uh, you know who are doing this that they are they are supporting our film and all the small small youtubers also who mm-hmm. are i i see most of the reviews of yeah, trailer yeah. reviews or something and i'm i feel so happy that every maybe uh, he might not be a maharashtrian but they all are supporting this True. film and 
that is that is uh, now whatever happens to film, but I, at least peop, it's it's reaching to people and they are appreciating. That's yeah. that's that's enough for us. Correct. And so you know, as an actor, what are the kind of subjects that are exciting you in today's time? No, I don't. You know, I don't plan that I want to do this or that yeah. thing. But yeah, there there are films which come. You know, I analyze them basically. It's nothing like I want to do this role or that role or something like that come to my. Uh, in my life, no. It's like if I like something, I'll do it. Okay, instinct. Instinct. Yeah. So the, my whatever my instinct says, I do it. I don't get into logics, more logics after that. Mm -hmm. First is instinct, then the log, then secondary is the calculation, which is not logics. Yeah. Ki what will happen to my career with it? I don't get that in my life. Mm -hmm. Ki agar ye flop ho gaye to kya hoga? No. Mm -hmm. Kaam kaise kiya hai wo dekh pare. Correct. मेरे को बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है मैंने क्या सीखा इस फिल्म से उससे मैं खुश रहूँगा एक फिल्म होगी एक हिट हो जाएगी खुशी मिलेगी फिर फ्लॉप हो जाएगी फिर मैं रोने लगूंगा नीचे तो इट डजन वर्क फॉर मी शुड बी हैप्पी व्हाट आई एम डूइंग तो मैं फिल्में ऐसी करता हूँ जहाँ मैं खुश रहूँ खुश ओके एंड सो यू नो मराठी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री ऑल्सो हैज इवॉल्व मैसेवली इन लास्ट डेकेट देर हैज बीन सो मच सो मैनी फिल्म विच हैव कम इन द नेशनल मीडिया इज वेल फ्रॉम अ सायरा टू से लई भारी सो मैनी मोर पवन खिंड How do you do? You feel proud that you know the industry is also now, like you know we always talk about South film industry breaking the barriers. But I truly feel even Marathi film industry has broken the barriers in multiple ways over the last few years. How do you view this th this aspect? It's good, obviously, when a Marathi film works. I mean, especially from as, as a guy who uh, who came from management to acting field, I yeah. think I, I from marketing basically. So. And this is a business point of view. It's 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 getting better. I think the amount of the ROI is better now. Mm -hmm. It's flourishing, and that was a problem. I think maybe few years back that if you make around 150, 200 films in a year, and the two films are working, so it it was a bad yeah. scenario. But now the ratio has improved, mm -hmm. and with Har Har Mahadev, I think the perspective and the ratio will improve much more. Because we need that one stepping stone, we need that one push, and we are just all waiting in Marathi industry for that one push. That <laughs> okay, fine. Now we will come in full force. So this is Harar Mahadev is a is that one push we need and one push we are trying yeah. to get into that zone of the other regional zone. That if a Telugu film can do well, if a Tamil film can do well, if a Kannada film can do well, why can't a Marathi right, film do course. well in Pan India level? So we are trying that with Harar Mahadev. and i'm sure that this, this will happen last couple of questions uh, so you know bahubali you were the voice of prabhas in bahubali how did that change things for you as an as an actor because you know when i wrote about you <coughs> being his voice for adi purush as well hmm. there was so much excitement <laughs> across that people were actually said oh wow uh, uh, you are dubbing for prabhas again in adi purush after bahubali so how did that change things for you obviously uh, that um, i have It's an add-on to my, you know, that's another feather in my cap. You can say that people started knowing me. A, mo a, a large number of audience started mm -hmm. knowing me. Otherwise, I was a very, you know, some earlier that I was doing TV, so the more of the TV or TV viewers mm -hmm. they were knowing me. In films, I think the, by that time I hardly did few films. In Maharashtra, obviously, people soon know me. Yeah. Bahubali changed a di different perspective in terms of as an actor that with voice also somebody can yeah. create an impression. or leave a impression on people um, and i got a lot of commercial aspects of it <laughs> but yeah jokes apart but yeah, yeah obviously it's it's now a lot of number of people they 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 know me <laughs> maybe a different you know adjective the voice of bahubali or yeah. like that but yeah it's it's great that to be a part of a big film that was the biggest happiness and more than that i got to work with rajmali sir So that was the biggest achievement for me. Yeah. Nothing comes in front of that. Okay. And you are excited for Adi Purush as well. You have yeah, given the voice yeah, again. Yeah, uh, obviously. So it's because me and him worked before in. Yeah. So it's a reunion, in his next film only. So I'm very happy. Yeah. Uh, it will be great that I think for a, you know, for a for for anyone in in India or in. It's a it's a matter of pride to be the voice of Sri Ram. I think, yeah. and I'm fortunate enough to be the voice of Sri Ram. and i thank him first jai shri ram right uh, i got the chance and thanks to him yes. he gave me this opportunity and hopefully i think i'll again get, get some strength from that shri ram to perform well in the film as i got in tanaji yeah. from chatrapati shivaji maharaj 
it's it's actually just struck me it's so such a coincidence you have also played you have also given voice for i think ravan in a yeah, in the series uh, series yeah, yeah, yeah. and now you are being the voice over yeah. it's so, such coincidence <laughs> for you even that's, in this that's film. A, that's yeah. a that's a dimension i want to you know uh, touch basically all the yeah it's, uh, you can't be in a in a in a single linear way yeah. i think it's 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 very boring i think <laughs> for an actor yeah. or for i think anyone yeah, as, yeah. after some time you get bored of it mm -hmm. like so you you want to try different things Thanks. and what yeah. best to just do opposites what you are doing or maybe like the, in this and bring bajibhu desh pandey yeah. and and dana ji did chatur yeah. shivaji mara so it's 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 very interesting, interesting uh opportunities i got and i touch would i took the right call i think yes <laughs> that is also very important for today's time yeah. to take the right call and uh, lastly you reunited with ajay sir on bhola as well How oh, I'm not doing bola here. It's there on your Wikipedia. No, we no Min Maya. Yeah, no, no, he didn't call me here. <laughs> but we are we are planning something. Okay. We are planning something. There's one thing which was supposed to come, but I think the schedules are not matching. Ah, okay. But uh, yeah, one thing we are working on in future. I think maybe next year we'll work on it, and it's gonna be crazy. I think. Perfect. On that note, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And wish Manish. you all the best for the film. Thank you, Baba. Thank you so forward. much. Thank you.